All right, so being a content creator and a student myself, I work with PDF files all the time and honestly, it's a pain managing them efficiently. From signing, editing, annotating, extracting text or even converting PDF into a different format, it often feels like I'm wrestling with a PDF than getting my actual work done. And now how cool would it be if you can go ahead and chat with your PDF and yes, you heard that right. With PDF Elements new AI assistant, you can go ahead and ask questions about the content within your PDF file, get the summary of an entire PDF file and even translate the textual content within your PDF seamlessly. And as a blogger, I often delegate these content writing tasks to freelancers out there and the built-in AI content detection option within PDF element let me find and flag AI content within a single click. So if these guys use AI to write content, I can instantly get notified about the same. The newest version of the Wondershare PDF element comes with some amazing amazing AI capabilities and features and I can't wait to introduce them to you and if you are someone who regularly works with PDF files then this video is a must watch and without wasting any further ado let's jump straight in. Alright so this right here is PDF element and the first thing that you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and download the latest version of PDF element. You can head over to this website and click on the download option and download it to your computer and it is available for both Windows and Mac OS. Now once you have downloaded the software and open it up so this is going to be the interface that you'll see. So up to the top you can find a quick tool session and if you click on this option that says see all tools you'll be able to see all the different tools that are available within PDF element. Now back in the day when I wanted to get something done let's say compress a PDF file, sign a PDF file or even convert it into a different format what I used to do is that I will go ahead and search for it on Google, find a random website, upload my PDF and then get the job done. So it was like a tiring process to get the whole thing done and now with PDF Elements suite of tools, I can instantly access tons of different PDF tools all within one platform. So up to the top, we have the edit option where we can edit a PDF, organize pages, crop a PDF and prepare a form. And you can also go ahead and convert the PDF into a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, image and other formats. Then you can go ahead and create a PDF file from scratch. Then you have the batch option where you can go ahead and convert it. Uh, extract text using the OCR feature or compress them or even add a background watermark or extract data or whatever stuff. And now my personal favorite has to be these AI tools right here where you can go ahead and chat with your PDF, you can proofread the content of your PDF, you can summarize the PDF, translate it, detect AI written content and a lot lot more. And finally you can also go ahead and edit the PDF and protect your PDF using a password as well. And now we'll go through some of these tools in detail. So at first let's just go ahead and start with the edit a PDF options. So all I gotta do is to click on this edit a PDF option and it will ask me to select the PDF file. Alright so I have basically opened up a 38 pages long PDF file on PDF element and as soon as you open a PDF file on PDF element this is going to be the screen that you'll see. So up to the top we have different sections like comment, edit, convert, organize, tools, form, protect and batch. We'll go through them one by one. At, at first if you click on the comment option you'll be able to find a bunch of different tools including the option to highlight the text you know underline, strike, add squiggly lines or even add textual content as well. For example let's say I want to highlight this particular part right here. So all I gotta do is to click on this highlight option and I can simply go ahead and drag and drop and highlight any part within the PDF. And let's say I want to highlight a region or a specific portion for example these three bullet points right here. So all I gotta do is to click on the second option called area highlight and I can just go ahead and click and drag to sort of highlight the area. Okay. And now let's say you want to strike out something so you can click on this option and let's say I want to strike this line and as you can see the line is instantly striked. Similarly, if I want to add an underline, I can click on the underline tool and underline this text right here. And if I want to add a squiggly line, I can click on this tool and add a squiggly line. As easy as that. So if you want to annotate or add a content within a PDF file, this options and all these tools makes your life a whole lot easier. And if you want to change the color of any of these elements, you can simply go ahead and click on this option and change the color as well. And for example, let's say I want to highlight text in red color. I could select the red option and see now the text is highlighted in red. And similarly, if you want to add a text box, you can click on this option or let's say text box. You can put it up in here type whatever content in here, let's say blah blah. And this way you'll be able to add callouts or annotations within your PDF file. So this is how you basically add comments or let's say add external content or annotations to your PDF file. And now let's say you want to actually edit the PDF file, all right? So for that, you can move over to this edit tab right here. And here you will find a bunch of different tools ranging from the option to add text, image, link, watermark, background. 
for example let's say i want to add uh let's say i want to change this number right here okay now this pdf file is already created and for this heading right here i want to change it to 4.1.3 right now it is 4.1.2 so all i gotta do is to double click on that text and i'll be able to highlight the text and i can go ahead and press the backspace button and add the new content so this way you can go ahead and edit pretty much any content within the PDF. And as you can see, I can go ahead and type a random stuff in here and the same is reflected instantly. And now let's say I want to add a note in this section right here. So all I got to do is to click on this option that says add text and I can click on here, type random content in here and I can make this box and resize it. And this way I'll be able to add text into my PDF file. And now let's say I want to add an image to my PDF file. So to do so, I can click on this add image option and select the image that I want to add. Let's say this one, click on open and I can go ahead and place it wherever I want to. And if you look at the cursor right now, you will notice the my image thumbnail. So I can scroll all the way where I want to place the image. And let's say I want to put it in here. I can press and the image will be placed instantly and I can go ahead and maybe resize it and make it to fit the screen. So that's basically how you can add a image to your PDF file. Now for demonstration purpose, I added this image on top of existing elements. If you want to add it to a new page or a blank section, you can go ahead and do that. And let's say if I want to add an image to this section right here, I can grab the same image, resize it a bit and add it in here. All right. And now let's just say I want to link this any text in my PDF file. I can click on this add link option and let's say I want to link this objectives part right here. So I can go ahead and drag here and I can go ahead and click on the web option and let's say put the address in here. For example, I can put google.com or maybe let's say astrokjoseph.com and now if I hit enter, the link is now added. And now anytime the person goes ahead and click on this objective section, they'll be instantly taken to my website. And as you can see, we have a call out mentioning the same. And similarly, if you want to add a watermark, if you want to add a background, header and footer, etc., you can go ahead and do it in here. And now comes one important feature and that is converting your PDF file into various different formats. And to do so, all you gotta do is to click on this convert option and you will find various different options in here. For example, you can convert it into Word, Excel, PPT, image, text, and more. And if you want to convert multiple PDF files at once, you can click on this batch convert option, select the PDF files and convert it. And for now, let's say I want to convert this PDF file into a Word file. All I gotta do is to click on this do Word option and it will ask me to give a name, let's say sample and select it as let's say desktop and click on convert. And this file should be instantly converted and saved as a Word file within desktop. And as you can see, we have the sample docx file converted it into a word file. Okay. As easy as that. Similarly, if you want to, you can go ahead and convert it into any other format in here. And if you want to add more pages or let's say split pages or change the order of the pages, you can go ahead and click on this organize option and do it from here. So let's say I want to swap the three and fourth pages. Okay. All I got to do is to click drag and drop this fourth page over here and this way I can change the order of the page and now if you move over to this tools tab you'll be able to find a bunch of different tools like OCR, OCR area, compare, combine, compress and a lot of others and for this one let me quickly open up a different PDF file and now as you can see I have opened up a different PDF file and let me head over to the tools section and if I scroll down you'll be able to find a page with a scanned content so basically this is a image of a book page all right so this text is not directly editable nor can i copy it directly so this OCR feature in pdf element let me grab all these text and make it editable and let me show you how so all you gotta do is to click on this option that says ocr area or ocr text and you can just simply go ahead and drag let's say i want to select this much content right here and leave it and select the language and everything else looks good to me and i can click on this perform ocr option and it will go ahead and analyze the textual content within the image and convert it into editable text. And now as you can see, this has become a editable text and I can go ahead and copy it and even I can go ahead and edit the content. How cool, right? So this is one more important feature that I like a lot in PDF element. And similarly, you also have a bunch of other tools within a PDF element, including the option to compress a PDF file. So all you gotta do is to select this PDF file right here. And the current size is about 2.08 megabytes. So let's say medium compression and click on apply. And this way I'll be able to, uh, let's say select this storage location. And as you can see, I was able to compress the file by 88%. So that means I compressed a file from 2.08 megabytes to just 237 KB. 
All right. Now that's also one tool that is available within the platform. And let's say you want to protect your PDF file using a password. You can click on this protect option and then let's say encrypt. And then you can put a password in here and click on the OK button. Let's say password is one, two, three. Permission password is also one, two, three. Okay, let's say one, two, three, four. And then I can click on the OK option and click on OK. And I'll go ahead and click on save. And I'll save it as a different file, PDFs. And now I've successfully saved the PDF file using and protected it using a password. And now if I try to open the same, as you can see, I need to enter the password. And if I enter the password, I can go ahead and view the content within the PDF file. Okay. So now that's how you do it. And one more important thing that I want to show you is that how easy it is to sign a PDF file. For example, there will be like a lot of instances where you want to sign a PDF file, right? So all you got to do is to come on to the section that says comment and click on the signature option and it will open up this section. And to create a signature, all you got to do is to click on create signature and click on the mouse or trackpad option. For example, I click on trackpad, click here to begin and I can just draw my signature. Let's say this is my signature and click anywhere. And as you can see, the signature is saved and I can just drag and drop it anywhere. And as you can see, I have placed my signature. This way you can easily go ahead and sign any document. And now my personal favorite has to be the AI features that is available within PDF element. For example, if you click on this AI assistant option, you'll be able to find a bunch of different AI tools. For example, first let's click on this AI chat option and let's say chat with PDF. And this way I can let's ask it to, let's say summarize the content. So I can go ahead and say, what is this PDF about? And I can click on enter. And now the AI within the PDF element software will go ahead and analyze all the textual content and it will give me a summary. Okay. Now this PDF is about Astro K Joseph, a website designer and blah, blah, blah stuff. And let's say, what do Astro do? Okay. Now, as I can see, I have a section explaining what I do and the AI will go through the content and it will, yeah, as you can see, Astro creates user-friendly websites and functioning and visually appealing websites, responsive web design, etc, etc. And this way you'll be able to chat with your PDF file. And now let's say I want to, let's say summarize the entire content of the PDF file. All I got to do is to click on this AI summaries option and I can click on the current PDF option. And now it will go ahead and summarize the entire content of this PDF file. So as you can see, Astro K Joseph is a dedicated website designer, blah, 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 what I do. How much do I charge and what are the services that I offer? I can find all these details right here. Okay. Now I don't really have to go ahead and read through all of these pages and a huge block of text. Now AI is here to help me and it will just go ahead and summarize the entire content. And similarly, let's say if any content within a PDF file is AI generated or not, I can click on this AI assistant option and select the AI return detect option and it will start analyzing the PDF file to see if there is any content written using AI. And to be honest, I have included some sections within this PDF, uh, which was written by AI. And as you can see, it has actually flagged it. And I can see this is partially AI written as easy as that. And I can click on OK. All right. So these are some of many different tools that is available within PDF element. And now so far we have seen a bunch of different tools, right? Now, let's say you want to create a new PDF file and you want to start from a template. Now, Wondershare PDF element has got a template library. We'll be able to start, uh, let's say, start from a template and you can go ahead and edit and add your content. And for that, I can click on the see all tools option and I should be able to find this template option right here. So I can click on the template option and it will open up all the templates that is available within the platform. And as I can see, we have various different templates and let's say I'm building a resume and I can click on this resume template. I can click on this option and it will show me a preview and I can click on the edit now option and it will open that a PDF file of that template in my editor and I can click on the edit option and start editing all the stuff. For example, let's say I want to put my name in here. I can go ahead and do that. I want to change the title. I can do that as well. And this way you can go ahead and start editing a template and customize it according to your need. And similarly, let's say I want to create a PDF file from scratch. I can come back to this create option, click on the create PDF option and let's say blank document and give it a name and I can go ahead and start adding the content. So for example, I can go ahead and add a text in here, let's say blah, blah, blah stuff. And if I want to, I can change the uh, size of this uh, one. For example, let's say I want to make it 36 pixels long. I want to make it bold. If I want to change the, let's say the font and you can do a whole bunch of stuff, right? 
And now another cool thing about PDF element is it's PDF element cloud storage. So if you click on this PDF element cloud option right here, you'll be able to upload and sync PDF files or any other documents with to your PDF element account. And if you use PDF element on multiple devices, and if you're logged into the same account, you will be able to access all these files within all these devices. Similarly, you can go ahead and edit them as well. So basically all the files that I upload in here will be visible on all my devices. And all of these are different PDF files that I have in my cloud. And all I got to do is to log into the same PDF element account. All thanks to Wondershare PDF element. This is how simple it has become to efficiently manage a PDF file. So whether you want to sign your PDF file, edit it, annotate it, add text, or let's say translate the content, uh, check for AI written content, summarize it, chat with your PDF. I mean, there's a lot that you can do with the platform. Let's say you want to uh, password protect your PDF file, you can do that. If you want to batch convert it into a different format, let's say you want to use the OCR feature to grab text from an image within the PDF and you got a lot of different options here. And to get started, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and download PDF element and you can start using the same. And by the way, PDF element is available for both macOS and Windows. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next one.